the good shepherd has risen, who laid down his life for his sheep, and willingly died for his flock. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, today is Monday, May 11th, fifth week of Easter. And we are happy to invite you for this Eucharistic celebration. Let us recall our failing and shortcomings to celebrate this Eucharistic celebration in a worthy manner and ask God his pardon. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and the, to the Father. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May your right hand, O Lord, we pray, encompass your family with perpetual help, so that, defend from all wickedness, by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gift. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium by both the Gentiles and the Jews, together with their leaders, to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to Lyconian cities of Lystra and Derbe, and to the surrounding countryside where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra there was a crippled man, lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, saw that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, stand up straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they cried out in Laconian, the gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus and Paul Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. And the priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance of the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates, for he, together with the people, intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles Barnabas and Paul tore their garments when they heard this and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are of the same nature as you, human beings. We proclaim to you good news that you should turn from the idols to the living God who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go their own ways, yet in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness, for he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons and filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely restrain the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Our responsorial psalm is, not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not, not to, to us, us, O Lord, Lord but, but to your name, name give, give the glory. glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory because of your mercy, because of your truth. Why should the pagans say, where is their God? 
not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord but the earth he has given to the children of men. Not, Not to, to us, us O Lord, Lord but, but to give your name, give, give the glory. The glory. Blessing, Father. May the Lord be in your heart and the lips, that you may proclaim his word worthily and well. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make your dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, if we are led by the Holy Spirit, we can be instruments of healing for others. In today's first reading, the scripture, this is how we can enter into this healing frame of mind. We must be obedient to the Holy Spirit. The Spirit touches us, reminding us that we are full of potential, mean, meant to be instrument of the healing love of God. Grace is near at hand, all around us. As St. Paul said in Athens, the living God made heaven and earth and the sea and all that in, is in them. In bestowing his benefits, he has not hidden himself from us. From the heavens, he sends down rain and rich harvest. Your spirits he fills with the food and delight. The message of salvation belongs to everyone. It cannot be hardened as our private property. Just as Father's message came through Jesus, so the message we have received must flow through us to inspire new life in others. We can be instruments of hope, God's instruments even to the extent of healing others from 
worries and stress just as St. Paul and Barnabas brought new energy to the crippled man at Lystra. And today, in today's Gospel, the verb to love is the central to the Gospel. It covers our love for Jesus, his love for us, and the Father's love for the whole of creation. We show our love for others, for Jesus, by keeping his word and following his teachings, which is summed up as love one another as I have loved you. He promises to send as the, the in advocate, the Holy Spirit. The grace of the Spirit revived in our minds the outlook of Jesus. The Holy Spirit helps us to love one another as I have loved you. This is the whole vision of the Christian life. God's relationship with us as Father, Son, and Spirit, our relationship with each other. Today's Mass is being in, of, in memory of Veronica Rayleigh. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, Father of goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, Father of goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. With the humble spirit and hearted heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and on my sacrifice inside this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more graciously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifice of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamp of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with the paschal joy, every land, Every people excels in your praise, and even 
the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy holy holy, holy, holy lord god of hosts heaven and earth, earth are full, full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name, name of the lord hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down a spirit upon them, like the deep one, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we Eat this, this bread, bread and, and drink this cup. cup. We, we proclaim, proclaim your it. death, O Lord, until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, <clears throat> the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, David our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in her mercy. Welcome them into the light of her faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quiet to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with their will who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling in the body of uh, our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. 
they are receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, do not bring us to judgment and condemnation, but your loving mercy be for us, protection in mind and body, and the healing of us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, roof but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. My dear brothers and sisters, let us join together in the prayer of spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Communion and Dippan. Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you, says the Lord. Alleluia. <clears throat> Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who restores us to eternal life, in the resurrection of Christ. Increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael, Michael the Archangel, Archangel defend us in battle. battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl all over the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer to St. Joseph. Good St. Joseph, as you led the Holy Family, watch over our families. Help our family and all families to know and share God's love. In our family relationships, may we find healing and seek to be holy. May our fathers help us to become faithful disciples of Jesus who share our love for him. As foster father of Jesus, Watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers. 
in a special way, bless our Holy Father, our Bishop, and our priest. May they follow your humble example in their fatherly care for the people of God, the Church. With Mary, you raise Jesus the High Priest. You know our need for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes to the call of Jesus, just as you and Mary did. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. Amen.